Good morning, sixth grade. Welcome to another week of school. First official week of YouTube school, I guess. That board, the board that we have up here is, has some math review things on it. Uh, we'll talk a little more about that, but yeah, if you have questions about some things that are going to be on the math test, just pause it at the beginning, pause at any time that you can see this uh, board and uh, go over that stuff and we'll talk a little more about that. Let's look just a little bit at the schedule for the next day or so. Do your reading quiz, quiz two today. Your parents uh, should have that. Parents, be responsible to hang on to their quizzes and tests. Please uh, only give them to them to do uh, on the day that they're supposed to do them. The morning uh, that they are scheduled, that it's on the schedule to do them, you may give it to them. I don't care if they work, I don't care if you work ahead on lessons at whatever speed you want to. I will post videos most days on the lessons that are due in language and math. Uh, but please only do the tests on the day that they're due because we will have review for the tests and quizzes uh, the day before, uh, except for reading. Uh, since reading is all open book, reading is going to basically be doing, is basically on your own. I will remind you of tests and quizzes. Uh, the calendar, the schedule I have has all the assignments. So please uh, keep up with that. Tests and quizzes and reading are all open book. So today some time, uh, do that reading quiz too. Uh, parents, collect those tests and quizzes when they are finished. Uh, hang on to them, and then I think you're supposed to deliver them to school on uh, the weekend. Uh, there will be, there is a table in the gym, uh, marked 6th and 7th grade. Uh, you can put the tests and quizzes on there, and I'll give more instruction on that at the end of the week uh, to remind you of, of what to do there. There will be no language video today. Uh, you're supposed to have lessons three to done today and four done for tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, we will go over those lessons, check a few of the ones that you were supposed to do. I'll just pick out some of the things uh, that I think maybe we should go over, uh, and we will do that tomorrow. All right, let's review for this math quiz. This is a math test, sorry. Math test tomorrow, test 13, lesson 130. This is an open book test. This will be the only math open book test that, that we're doing. And we're simply doing that because we were off this week and uh, things may be rusty and foggy in your mind. So this will be an open book test. And I have marked down here that if you don't remember something, look it up, all right? When you're doing your test, have your book there. Find the lesson that, that, it, that it's in and look it up. Uh, different uh, equations, the relationship between different measures and things like that, whatever you need. Uh, don't be lazy, go and look it up. Here are just some few things that we will go over uh, for that right now. Know how to convert Bible times to standard time. All right? Make sure you put your AM and PM, whatever you need for that. Be able to convert biblical measures to standard measures, like how many cubits, how many feet equals so many cubits, or how many cubits equals so many feet. Uh, solve that. You're either multiplying or dividing. And again, those measures are in, you need to find those in your book if you're not sure of them. Uh, there will be a part where you, you will have the percent on the test and you need to change the percent to a fraction and then reduce it. This, we discussed this, that the denominator is always 100. 8% means eight over 100. Reduce that, eight divided by four, 100 divided by 4, 2 over 25. So you'll need those two answers uh, looking like that. And this denominator of the original fraction is always 100, please. Be able to label the different parts of a circle. 
find the chapter if you're not if you don't remember them find the chapter uh, that talks about that how are the radius and diameter of a circle related okay remember that radius is half of the diameter uh, you will on your test have a couple of those problems where you either have the radius given or the diameter given if you have the radius it's radius times 2 equals diameter if you have the diameter it's di diameter divided by 2 equals radius and please remember to label those whatever the label is on all of these whatever you're doing if there's a label involved please have the label proper label six solving area uh, there will be a parallelogram and maybe a triangle on your test so no um, the formulas for solving the area of those things and again you can look in your book okay? if you're not sure if you don't remember look in your book you're allowed to this time so please please use that okay don't get something wrong because you don't know the formula there's no excuse for that there will be a problem where you divide mixed numbers fractions also divide decimals where you have an equation and it will say, we'll have the little zero where you add zeros so it comes out evenly, or a one over 10, which means round it off to the nearest tenth. Uh, there will be problems with both decimal and the divisor and the dividend. No, remember to move the decimal and the divisor till it's at the end of the number, and if you have to move the decimal and the dividend that many times then too before you divide. Few other things that I don't have on the board, but you can check out just as a warning. You will have a chart with decimal ratio and percents. For example, if you have 12.12, .12, know that that is 12 over 100 and 12%. That is pretty much what is on your test, all right? Uh, this is open book. Please follow directions. I will uh, just get up, I will have a short, just a short video tomorrow. I will probably have an extra credit problem on the board. And uh, what else? Instructions on any that you need to do on notebook paper, okay? Uh, there will be a few that you need to do on another piece of paper and staple to your tests. Make sure you put your names on tests and things like that so that I have no problem knowing whose they are when they are handed in when they come. And again, I will have more instructions on all of that uh, when the time comes to deliver them to school. So I think that is all that you will hear from me today, probably. Like I said, there will be no language video unless I, I may do that and upload it later today uh, so that you can check it out, but it will probably not be there till tomorrow morning. Please do not do your test until tomorrow, your math test. Do your language, uh, your reading, reading quiz two. Get that done today. All right, have a good day.